quick video here and talk a little bit about hookers. Okay, so now I'm going to need you to pull your mind out of the gutter because this is a family show. What I'm talking about when I say hookers is in my garage. The best little hack for my garage has been this thing, the hooker. I've actually got a couple of them, but I've got all of this space in my garage in the, you know, in the eaves. And to be able to hook things, I've got all my 2 by 4s up here, and that's where I kept my conduit for what I was doing. Uh, to be able to hook things, sorry, car driving by, up in that space is really very nice. I uh, have my little ladder up there that if I need to get up there, that thing's great. It's like four feet, super light. Uh, but I have, you know, I keep some conduit up there. I keep wood up there. Um, let me take a walk over here because I'll show you my original hooker. I had that hanging over here by uh, Meadows Tag Along Bike. This was just a uh, modification off of... I was going to throw away this broom, and I cut the top off because it's got really nice wood to it, as you can tell. And I put one of the little hooks just zip-tied to it, and it works pretty well. And then I have this little rubber thing. It's actually one of those rubber things that you stick on your dash, like to hold your something. But I actually just zip-tied a glob of that to it. It was a ripped-up one. And it uh, works pretty well. If you need to slide things around, it works great. Um, like I said, I've got my... Got the one with the little hook on it for the conduit, that worked really well. And then I've got this guy, and this is actually a piece of aluminum that I need to put back in the house. But if you need to slide it around, move it around, get to it, you need a couple extra feet, even just a few inches. Again, I need you to get your mind out of the gutter. This is a family show. I think I'm funny anyway. All right, so. Just wanted to do that little hack here. There's some more of my wiring that I'm still happy about. Um, I did put a new breaker into the garage, so now when I have my air compressor, that'll probably kick on right in the middle of this video, and when I have my air compressor going, it doesn't blow the breaker. Because when they originally wired this garage, the garage, all of the garage electrical, was hooked on the same circuit as the furnace. So it was very handy that if you had a tool running out here and the furnace kicked on, you trip the breaker, so we had to fix that. So, all right, guys, uh, it is a beautiful day here in Wisconsin. All things considered, I know you uh, guys in the south are laughing still, but uh, we got some snow still. But it is melting pretty quick. It's about 40 degrees right now. I'm just working out in the garage in a sweatshirt, and it is pretty awesome. Just out here tinkering and building some. RC car ramps. There's a little sneak peek. Uh, Meadow and I are going to mess around with our new RC cars after she gets home from school. So just working on that. I just installed the new Diablo blade into my miter saw there. Pretty sweet. Cuts like butter. That's what it says on the package. And it, it does. It's pretty sweet. So, okay. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit about hookers. Again, mind out of the gutter. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you watching. And uh, I will let you go on with the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Hopefully we'll get a video out this afternoon. And, uh, and I'm playing with some editing software. So hopefully these videos will get better. And uh, we'll get better on the editing. So that's, uh, that's our goal. Did some pretty cool things with the, with the video, the RC car unboxing, so I'm getting used to it a little bit. So, all right, guys. Can't wait till I can ride the Harley Davidson. Peace out. Appreciate you. Hit that like and subscribe if you like. And thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye.